on everyone, Infinity Gaming here. Welcome back to the next episode of Predicting Mario Kart Tour. So, today we will be predicting the new we announced Rosalina Tour, which I'm going to say my personal opinion, Rosalina is one of my favorite characters of all time. There's a reason the opening shot of my intro is of Rosalina in Super Mario Galaxy. Rosalina is my favorite character. So I was so excited when I found out that this was going to be the tour. So, I come up with some really good predictions for this tour, and I hope you guys like them, so make sure to like, subscribe, share this, and let's get on with the video. The new track is Rosalina's Ice World from Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, which is my favorite wintertime course of all time, and I love that this track is coming to Mario Kart Tour. It's literally one of my favorites of all time. But... What gets even better is if you zoom in right between the Steel Diver and Rosalina Swimwear, you can see a new Rosalina alt with her hair in a ponytail, driving an apple cart, and with a red dress on, which I think it's probably going to be Fire Rosalina from Super Mario 3D World. People are saying that it's going to be a new apple cart as her new cart, but I think that that is basically just the original apple cart, and it has nothing to do with it. Similar to how Pauline was in that picture in Airship Fortress, but she had nothing in common with any of that. So what I did was I made a mock-up for the banner. So, this is the pipe banner. For Rosalina Fire's special skill, it would be Fireballs. That's a given, because it's Fire Rosalina. And for her cart, I used that data mined recolor of the Comet Tail that was found in Vancouver Tour in the files of the game. This... Uh, recolor is yellow, white, blue, and white, which we haven't seen in the game since the ever, ever, so we don't know why it's in the files, but hopefully this is going to be her cart, and for her glider, I decided to put in the beast wing, because it fits fire, and it's sort of like a fire and ice tour, I should say, but yeah, so I think that the beast wing would be good for Rosalina. So we can tell by the picture that Rosalina Aurora, Rosalina Swimwear, and Rosalina Halloween will be in the second week pipe with their corresponding carts and gliders. But in the Peach Tour, they had the three peaches and one cart and one glider, which was a little depressing considering that we all thought it was gonna be like nine high ends there. But I decided to make it a little bit better on this one. So we've got Rosalina Aurora, Rosalina Swimmer, Rosalina Halloween. We've got the blue soda. We've got the Comet Tail, the Luma Pear Foil, and we've got the Manta Glider, which I think all of these would fit perfectly good into this one, so that's why I chose two cards and two gliders for them. Which, I mean, it's a lot better than just one for each. It's stupid that they did that. But, um, yeah, so this is her, the pipe banner I made for that. Now, for the special pipe, it was a little more tricky because people were saying it's going to be an all cart and cart pipe because we had character, then we had glider, and obviously next would be cart. But I really didn't think that they would do that. I thought that they would do a little bit better than that. So what I did was I put Penguin Luigi, Baby Rosalina Detective, and some snow and winter themed carts and gliders into the pipe. So I'll show that right now. So in the pipe, we've got Penguin Luigi, Baby Rosalina Detective, the Ice Blue Poltergust, Blizzard Balloons, the Ice Wing, and the Ice Hearts Balloons which, I mean, mock-ups for the latter two, which I think really look good. Now, you guys probably saw some of the new things I added on the pipe banners, but I'm gonna go over them again right now. So, as a new normal, which we haven't had a new normal since the Halloween tour a year ago, we've got Luma, and Luma will probably have Dash Ring. And for Luma's cart, I got the Comet Star from Mario Kart DS. And for Luma's glider, I think that the star shoot will be out of the normal pipe and be Luma's glider. I think that the star shoot should have always been there, and now it's perfect timing. Once again, I said that I put in, I made mock-ups for ice heart balloons and the ice wing. So those two are also new things I added to the pipe. And beast wing, which I repurposed for Rosalina fires uh spotlight which i'm at also thinking about adding to the pipe and for the last thing i put in the cyan standard cart as a 
um, Caramative Cart in the 699 pack like they did with the Barrio vs. Luigi Tour, but I made it so it's Rosalina's color. So yeah, I put the, I'm gonna put that in the pack as well. Now, for the gold pass gifts, I decided to put in Rosalina, uh, the Carp Cart, Birthday Girl Rosalina, and Ice Mario. Now, Rosalina and the Birthday Girl Rosalina are pretty much Gibbons. I don't really need to explain why I put them in there. But the carp card I decided to put in because it sort of matches the theme of Rosalina's Ice World. Because, like, there are, like, sea creatures in the water in that track. And Ice Mario is also sort of a given because, like, it's Rosalina's Ice World. You're obviously going to have an ice character. And Ice Mario was also in the tier shop recently. And so I think that means that he can also be in the gold pass now. Now, for the normal gifts, I decided to put in Baby Rosalina, the Blue Bitty Buggy, and the Droplet Glider. Now, the Blue Bitty Buggy, I've been saying, is coming every single predictions that I've made since, like, Sunset Tour. But this time, I actually think it's going to come. Because the Blue Bitty Buggy was Rosalina's cart in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you chose Rosalina, Baby Rosalina, then it would be the Blue Bitty Buggy. And I think that it's perfect timing considering it's the Rosalina tour. And so I do definitely think the big Blue Bitty Buggy is coming back this tour. Now, for the token shop, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Toad Pick Crew, the Blue Streamliner, and the Banana Parafoil. I think these things because it's like sort of... Like, it sort of corresponds with the track. I'm not quite sure, but, like, there weren't many options. And so, that's basically why I put Toad Pick Crew and his set in the token shop. Now, unlike the token shop, I definitely know what's going to be in the event shop week one. It's going to be Blue Birdo's set. Light Blue Birdo, the Light Blue Turbo Birdo, and the Blue Flower Glider. This stuff fits perfectly with the track, and I cannot see it not coming so obviously it's just gonna be the blue birdo set i think that's the greatest set that could fit the track and finally the second week tier shop i think it will be monty mole the wild wing and the piston glider monty mole is a very valuable character and i feel like he will definitely be top shelf on rosalina's ice world because he is all constantly getting new tracks so that's my reason for monty mole the wild wing has been in the game for a while now and hasn't been given out to anyone yet like in gold pass or gifts or anything like that so i think that that's there and the piston glider is basically just a normal glider that i think would fit now just as a little something extra i decided to predict the tracks that will be in the tour if you don't know there are usually about 13 to 16 different tracks in every tour not counting trick and reverse variants so i decided to predict the tracks i think will be added in so Based on looking at all of the Rosalina variants values, I came to the conclusion that the tracks will probably be Koopa Troopa Beach 2, Cheap Cheap Lagoon, Remix Choco Island 1, Choco Mountain, Rainbow Road 3DS, Remix Rainbow Road 1, Neo Bowser City, Rosalina's Ice World, obviously, DK Pass, Vanilla Lake 1, Frappe Snowland, Merry Mountain, Mario Circuit 3DS, Royal Raceway, Maple Treeway, and finally, Rock Rock Mountain. So, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and comment down below what you think will be in the next tour. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!